everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. I'm very happy to be here. Today I am with my boyfriend Ian. Hello. Yeah, somehow we both ended up wearing green today. I don't know how that happened, but I'm living for it. How cute are we? <laughs> and right now we're going to be trying the Nimbus Cafe in downtown LA. I am very excited because I was a Harry Potter fan growing up. I read the books, I had all the gear, I had the spin-off books, I, I loved it. What about you? Were you into Harry Potter? I never read the books, but I watched all the movies. We owned all the movies. Um, so I, I know the storyline and I like it a lot. I've always liked the stories. Yeah, it was always very like comforting and it just made you feel like you belong somewhere, which I feel like is one of the main attractions of Harry Potter. So I'm really excited, so please follow along. What was your favorite Harry Potter movie? I'm gonna sound really lame, because I really like the last ones. The last ones are really good. Um, but I think after that, I would say I really enjoyed The Goblet of Fire, because that was like, at least in the movies, it felt like a like turning point in the series. Yeah, it kind of went from more like childlike and fantasy to like, oh, this is some real shit. Yeah, like the... And these are, like, this shit's dark and scary. Right. Everyone gets a little bit stronger, so the fighting gets more intense. And it seems like the consequences are higher. Yeah, that makes sense. For me, I have always really enjoyed the second one. It may be because I just had like a really pleasant um, memory associated with it. I remember being probably like seven and going to see that movie two nights in a row. It's just like a sweet memory I have and um, I always thought that the basilisk was really scary so it wasn't written by but it was the Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. I really enjoyed that book. I thought it was really good and kind of an interesting take on um, like what might have happened after the books. So if y'all haven't read that, I'd highly recommend it. This might just be a mean thing, but all of the movies have like a specific color yes. associated with them in my brain. So when you said the second one, the Chamber of Secrets, uh -huh. it's a very like teal, blue, greenish. Like, yeah, for me it's like that really slime green color. Yeah, it makes me feel cold and wet. Yeah, I mean that's kind of how I feel watching all of the Harry Potter movies, it's just like chilly and um but at some point it's really warm and fuzzy right the first one it's like i mean it's obviously from the stone but it's a very red there's a lot of warm colors in the, in the first movie. one yeah yeah i totally see it as red because it's very centered around gryffindor there's a lot of fires there's a lot of there's a lot of crimson there's a lot of red in all yeah the i story. completely agree and it, like a lot of quidditch too so I feel like I, the uniforms, I think they're red, right? Yeah. So, yeah, that's definitely another thing that kind of ties into that. I feel like sometimes the colors are kind of repeated. Definitely. Because like, I feel like the fourth one, that one to me, like the Goblet of Fire, that one is pretty dark, like a dark green color. And then the third one is like a really bright blue. Okay. See, I think, like, I totally agree because, like, the fifth movie for me, The Order of the Phoenix, right? Yeah. Feels very, like, a nice deep blue, a very dark, like, royal blue. Too. Okay, I could totally see that. But, like, the fourth movie for me, I see, this is just because of the games, but, like, it, I have this image of, like, all four of the house colors, like, kind of put in one spot. Yeah. Does that make sense? Like a little badge with red, green, purple, and yellow on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see that too. Kind of like a, a wild card, but like the yeah. Harry Potter colors. Exactly. Did you ever have the Harry Potter Uno? No. Yeah. I, I must have missed out on that. I had a, my family had a Harry Potter Uno card game. And the wild cards had all of the the houses on it? Oh, the house. <gasps> That's so cool. So the image was already there in my brain. 
I am so excited to try these drinks because they look like something you get at Hogsmeade. I've always wanted to try like some stuff from Hogsmeade and like from the candy shops. It just always looked really delicious. And also, have you ever noticed that the feasts in Harry Potter just look like to die for? Absolutely. Look, Man. Dare I say, magical. <laughs> it does look magical. We just have to walk a little ways because, you know, I don't want to pay for parking. Okay, so we both got the iced Ginny gingerbread cookie latte, and it literally has a cookie <laughs> on it, so that's really cool. I think we should probably mix them up. I think you're probably right. And I got mine with almond milk. Same. Mmm, that looks so delicious. It's really good. It tastes like there's um, cookie butter in here, if you've had it from Trader Joe's. Yeah, it really tastes like cookie butter. Mmm. Okay, I'm gonna try to fish my cookie out of here. It's a little pricey for what it is. It was eight dollars for this one. Yeah, it was seventeen dollars total. But when you think about it, like they have to make money. Right. I totally get it. They. It's in a. It's in a nice part of downtown, so I'm sure their rent isn't cheap. I've paid those, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I, I get that. So. But I think that was they charged us two dollars for the almond milk. I like the decor. They made the most of what they had. They also. It wasn't just Harry Potter stuff, it was Harry Potter stuff with like Los Angeles references um, with it, which was nice. As a community, good for them. Yeah. The coffee's really good. I'm, I really like this. It the tastes coffee good. is so good. Like, I usually never drink things like really fast, but this one's just going down the yeah, pipe real down. easy. And it tastes like so good. It's like the espresso taste is good, the almond milk doesn't interfere with the taste of the coffee the flavor at all and the gingerbread cookie butter is very accurate and the cookie on top like you can't beat that no and it wasn't just like some oh like, here's some like sprinkles a, of right, gingerbread it was like a big hunk of cookie yeah well thank you for joining me today you're welcome do you want to come back on my channel again sure thank you all so much for watching i hope you uh, please come back for the next video and see you soon. Bye!